are, are willing to cross the line to violence. Um, they've, they've already crossed other uh, legal thresholds, um, but we, we hope and pray that they don't go further at this point. Yeah, so what will they have to do? What, what is the, the, the best way for this to be taken on at, at this point, given the fact that it's such a it's such a huge complex, uh, and and they and there are so many people right now <coughs> steps and in inside the building. Uh, well, I think multiple people have, have already noted that uh, this is a, a massive failure on the part of uh, the, the law enforcement agencies, uh, particularly the Capitol Police, who have jurisdiction over Capitol Hill. Um, it, you know, another day, another time, we'll do the lessons learned and make sure this never happens again. Uh, but it's really difficult now that the breach has occurred. Uh, to it's, it's going to have to be uh, room by room, very slowly, methodically, and it will require a lot of manpower which it sounds like they're in the process of, of regrouping and preparing for that. I mean, the other factor here that would help tremendously is if the president would come out and uh, condemn what is going on and tell everybody to go back home, go back to their hotel rooms. Um, that would help a lot. It would not uh, disperse everybody, but it would at least dwindle some of the numbers and it would allow law enforcement to be able to... Let me pause this right quick. On the, uh, I mean, let me the move the TV. Faster. See, I'm going to be honest, as far as having this man as president, you know what I mean? I'm going to be honest, he, he he shouldn't even been in the White House in the first place. And anybody that support Trump is like one of the most hateful people on planet Earth. I can't believe that there's so many people out here. Now, this is our country. This is what we're supposed to support this is the most idiotic thing that any human being can do on this side of the planet. This is the saddest. This is the saddest thing I ever saw in my life. Out of all my years of living, I literally, I'm, I'm shocked, and, and and I'm 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 like slick sad for these people, you know? These people throwing their lives on the line for one man. They throwing their lives on the line for one man. I can't believe this. I, I literally can't believe this. My God. Jesus Christ. Why is it like this? The rest of the world is literally laughing at us because we can't even be we can't we can't even be as one in our own country like I'm American. I was born and raised here and I would never conduct myself in this way. Never. Not in a million years. They support Trump. And you know what? My hate is not even against Trump. It's against the people that voted for this guy. You see that? All those guys up there, I dislike them to the highest degree of the law. I do not like these people. I really don't. They support a guy. That welcome racism. That welcome hate. That way, that, that he he welcome misunderstanding about everything. The complexity of the human condition shouldn't even be based on this. This is so sad. I hate this. I I, I literally hate this. And this guy here. Oh my God. This guy here in a gladiator outfit. Gladiator. And I'm for sure anybody that's under the age of six can tilt him over. Jesus Christ.
this is your president. These are the people that y'all live right next door to and never address the issue at hand. Like, why is you supporting such a hateful? You know what? This is a hateful scene. I, You know what? Honestly, I literally was thinking that this guy can prove me wrong. He can prove me. He, he can prove to me that he can be the greatest president on planet Earth. You know what I mean? And this happened. When Obama was in office, this never happened. Any other president in history, this never happened. You telling me these people out here love Trump that much, they willing to throw their lives on the line to get killed and murdered. This is hate. This is nothing but hate. And I hate myself for watching this. But honestly, I'm kind of relieved that I'm watching this because now I see. Now I see the gravity of how many people hate. They, they, they don't hate the red, white and blue. They just hate everything that's socialized with it, like black people, Asian people, Latin people, uh, Mexican people like. Every one, every one of these people deserve everything that's coming to them. I don't wish them any harm. And I hope that whatever they get is fair. Because this is beyond sad. This is beyond sad. You got people running in this place. The most guarded place on planet Earth. They running in this place. By the thousand, and they protesting like, what, 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 what good is this gonna do? This is why I tell people that if you black, if you if you anything outside of white, watch your back. This is literally more than like two million people. Out here protesting. That, that, that's, that's, that's over 2 million. That's over 3 million people out there. Supporting this guy. Look. The only thing I got to say is man. I'm lock and loaded. I will, I will literally blow the brains. Out of anyone who threatened my livelihood. Or my family. I will take them all the way out the game. With no hesitation. I will not. This is this is this is hate at its finest. I can I can take hate I can take hate from from a couple of dozen people, but two three million people that's a lot. That's a lot of people. Let me take it off mute. They're shaking your hand. This time you don't feel that vibe at all. It is hate. They're warning us, they're threatening us, they're telling us we're fake. That's the least of the problem. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about that building and American democracy and what this all says about that today and how out of control this is and how we were not ready for this. And they don't care what Donald Trump just said. They really don't. It is so out of control and chaotic now. I don't know what the president can do, but I think it's going to take law enforcement to get these people out here, not Donald Trump. An assault like we've never seen is that you've been in war zones all over the world. Tommy, I'm so picking up on what the president was saying. I think we saw an essential truth approach uh, to the office in those remarks. He began with, I feel safe you, we love you. His first and foremost goal over the last four years, if you look at every action, every statement, is to keep that core of the core of the core base bonded to him at the cost of everything else. Yeah, when you talk to people who have worked for President Trump, either in the private sector or now in the public sector, they will tell you the most important quality. It's not smarts. It's not how to work around a business or politics. It's loyalty. And for Donald Trump, loyalty is the most important thing. So he will never trash 
the people, the Americans who are doing what we never thought would happen, something we never thought we'd witness. He will never trash these people because these people are loyal to him. And and that message, he, and Martha, you know, rightly reported. This man just started a cult right now. The only thing that's going to change right before right my now eyes. Is law enforcement, another group the president has touted over and over again. Once law enforcement takes control of the situation, and as Martha said, we're, it, we're, it appears we're still hours from that right now. You can also make the argument that that message itself did more harm than good because at the beginning, as you pointed out, he starts with a lie. And that's what precipitated all this, that the election was stolen, which we know for a fact is not true, which the courts have said is not true. Uh, his message is out there. He recorded it. Will it make any difference? Martha Raddatz, who's, who's there speaking to I'm over this. Demonstrators, I'm over this. Protesters, these anarchists, they will, it will not make a difference. I'm going I'm, I'm I'm to pray for these people, so well, calling on the president that's all I can do. What's going to end this is law enforcement. Because the people that's out there right now are mindless sheep. They have no soul, no conscience, no no regrets. They they will kill your baby in their sleep. These people will kill their mother for this guy. And I hope every... Trump supporter, Bruce. Thank you, see th see this video, and I want I want you guys to know that I literally, I literally, I I I'm literally not on you guys' side. I dislike you. I dislike you. I don't I don't I don't want to be around you. I don't want. I did this is this is hate at its finest. I I I hate hate. Between themselves and their calls to object to the results of the election, these people the wouldn't die for this man. He can offer them a glass of poison and they would drink it. But all of that messaging, of course, gets muddled when the president comes out himself and, in trying to urge everyone to go home, in the same breath repeats these false claims that the election was somehow rigged. Um,